back sa ating YouTube channel at yung ating topic sa ngayon is about doon sa LTO exam reviewer 2022. So, updated siya. At kung saan kayo pwede mag-search ng LTO exam reviewer kung kayo ay kukuha ng inyong DL. So, ito yung tips kung paano kayo mag-review by yourself at saka gamit ang inyong cellphone. So, very handy at no hassle sa pag-review -re ninyo. So, anywhere, pwede niyong dala-dala yung inyong cellphone. So, let's go! Sa pag-review -re ng LTO exam sa pagkuha ng inyong driver, driver's license. So, ito siya. So, sa akin is dito ako nag-review. So, punta sa my Chrome and then type in nyo yung LTO exam reviewer. So, magta-type tayo. Exam reviewer. So, ta-type natin yan. Then, search natin. So, dito ako sa may baba. So, nakikita ninyo yung PD. So, Pinoy Driver Com. So, yan. So, dito kayo mag-click. Dito kasi ako nag-review. Kasi noon hindi ako nag-review. So, kaya hindi na kapasa doon sa exam. So, mas, ano kasi dito eh, matatrain yung ating isip. Yung ating utak. So, dito, meron dyan. So, take, take test now. So, Tagalog, LTO driver. So, pwede yung Tagalog, pwede yung English yung i-ano ninyo dito. So, ganyan, scan lang ninyo. Ayan. At dito, dito sa may menu, sa may right side, dito kayo mag-click. Kung gusto nyong i-test yung inyong sarili. So, dito. So, English Reviewer. So, ayan. So, dito ako nag-practice na mag-exam. So, pinapractice ko yung sarili ko dito. At saka, at least dito is sasabihin kung mali yung inyong sagot. At marireview ninyo yung mga mali ninyo. So, just like dito, kung gusto nyong 10 random questions, 20 random questions, 60, or 80. So, emergencies, take all 12. So, dito, what do you, I uh, what to do during driver emergencies such as mechanical failures and accidents. So, pwede yung i-click ninyo dyan. And then, yan. So, may choices tayo dito. And then, mag a din doon sa baba kung ano yung tamang sagot o kung tama yung sagot ninyo o mali. So, dito ako nag-test ng aking tako. So, dito. What should you do in case your vehicle breaks down on on an expressway? So check all that apply. So ano dito? My A B C D E. So open your trunk and hood. Stand on the expressway and flag down passing drivers for help. Call for help using a mobile phone or an expressway phone. Park as far. To the right as possible. Put your hazard warning warning light on. So, ano yung dapat dito? In case na na breaks down ang inyo kayo sa expressway. So, mag-select dito ng sa tingin nyo is tamang sagot. So, ito yung example niya. Example is, ito yung isa sagot ko. Let's say kung tama. So, sa may baba, sa right side, 
may submit. So, isasubmit ko kung tama yung aking kasagutan. So, ganun yon And then, mag a din kung tama ang inyong sagot. So, yan. At dito sa handling and driving. So, pwede rin kayo dito. Describe the thinking of a defensive driver. So, meron dyan. Doon kasi sa manual natin na binigay is meron din yung mga ganito. Pero, yung mas easy kasi na lalo na yung mga tamad mag ano. So, pwede nasa inyong cellphone. So, describe the thinking of a defensive driver. So, consider what other drivers might to do and is preparing to do. So, my ABC dito na choices. So, kung sa tingin nyo ang tamang sagot is let's say letter B. So, meron din dyan, submit and wait ninyo kung tama ang inyong sagot. So, yung kinlik ko is mali. So, ang tamang sagot is yung letter C. So, example lang yan. Kaya, yan. So, sasabihin din niya kung mali ang inyong sagot. So, example yan. You select letter B. So, mali yung sagot natin. And the correct answer is letter C. So, defensive driving is a set of driving skills that allows you to defend yourself against possible collision collisions caused by bad drivers, drunk drivers, and poor weather. If you look ahead and keep your eyes moving, you can spot potential hazards. Hazards more easily. So, yan. Ito yung dapat na answer natin dito. So, letter C. So, pwede kayong mag next din kung gusto nyong dito sa set na ito ulit. Or pwede kayong mag change kung ayaw ninyo. So, another set ulit so yan it is not considered safe driving on expressway when letter A driving driver is driving at 80 kph kilometer per hour yun. so letter B is driver is driving at 60 kph C driver keep changing lanes without signaling. So, ang um, ichu-choose nyo dyan is yung tamang sagot and then submit nyo. So, dyan. So, madami yung passing exam dito para sa ganun is sanay na kayo just in case na pumunta na kayo actual sa kanilang office na mag-exam ng inyong DL. So, dito sa 40 random questions din, pwede rin dito. So, let's say dito. Dito rin ako nag-exam. Through practice lang ha. And then, para sa ganun sa actual na mag-exam na kayo is makapasa sa DL ninyo. At para makuha agad ang inyong DL. So, so, when on oncoming vehicle car A crosses the center lane line and making a left turn, a driver car should increase your speed a bit, eh, increase your speed to beat him to be spot. So, blow your horn to signal that you won't give way. So, yun yung letter B. So, letter C is give way and wait for oncoming traffic to clear up. So, let's say dito yung answer natin. And then gan ganun din. Submit. And then wait for the answer. So, yan yung tamang sagot. So, letter C yung tama. So, kung ang inano natin dito is letter B, ganyan. So, mag appear din dyan na mali yung ano, the correct answer is later C. So, ganun lang siya. So, simply lang yung pag ano ng exam. So, kung gusto nyo yung dito sa 20 random questions, dito kayo mag-click. 
Kaya nang na-click natin kanina na 10 random questions or gusto nyo sa 60 is mag-click sa 60. At kung sa 80 random questions is punta sa my random, 80 random questions. So, I hope na nakatulong sa inyo yung ating tips kung paano kayo mag-review mag ng LTO exam. So, para makakuha ng inyong DL kaagad. And thank you for watching and see you sa sunod na videos natin.